Well, hey guys, today I find myself with a rare day off, and so I am going to take advantage of it. I, as you can see, I'm hooking up my, I've already got my tilt bed trailer hooked up. I'm getting everything prepped. I have got to change up a few things on the tractor, and I am going to be heading over to the daycare center. I thought I would catch you guys up. I'm taking a drink break here. It's hot again today, but uh, I've got a lot of this work down. I've got a lot of these things picked up. If you're wondering why I'm doing a, a pile across there, the water here will come off uh, the roof line. It'll go down and then head that way. And I just want to put a berm up there to slow it down so it doesn't turn into a gully wash and wash all the dirt away. We are once again, and I know I sound like a broken record, but this is just summertime this year. We're getting thunderstorms, not every day, but a lot. And a lot of times they're very, very intense. So anyway, uh, the next thing I want to do is I want to come in here and I got to pick all this up and I'm going to carry it off to the back. And then I'm going to take this dirt here and work it in and backfill this. And then I think what I'm going to do is this little bit of gravel, I'm going to put a berm up right here just so none of this flows over into the concrete. I'm going to kind of berm it up just so that the water, what comes off, will shed off and go this way. So anyway, I'm going to try to get, get all of this stuff picked up, carried off, and finish getting this groomed down. And then if I have time, I'm going to start tackling this over here. I am, I don't know who they got to do the plumbing for the septic, but the line runs here and it ties into the county line. And for them to leave this like this, it just blows me away. But anyway, I've got enough dirt to work with. I can fix this, but I can't believe that I got to. So anyway, I'll get back on the uh, tractor, get all these big pieces picked up and get them out of my way. And then again, I'll start using the pulverizer. Let me uh, come over here real quick and let me show you the pulverizer a little bit close up. This is basically a steel eye beam that has the teeth in it and they are adjustable. And then it also has the roller on the back with the spikes in it. This thing right here, uh, as you've seen already, does just an amazing job uh, with working dirt down and pushing and moving. Uh, landscapers use it all the time to form up their mulch beds and the berms they're building. It's great for that. Uh, I use it for everything. Uh, this is one of my go-to implements that I use all the time. So anyway, guys, let me get back on the tractor. Let's get back busy.
guys, got a lot of work accomplished this afternoon. One of the main things I wanted to do was to get all of the stuff off this asphalt and get this, even though it's not the most beautiful asphalt, it's all we got right now. So I want to get all this clean, wanted to get all this cleaned up and all of that stuff over there picked up, which I did. And then as you saw when I first got started, this was in horrible condition. So I am still got some more work to do to it, but uh, it is getting close to where now I can bring in a couple loads of gravel and we can get this to where it won't wash anymore. And uh, uh, you know, it'll start smoothing out and, and obviously looking so much nicer. So uh, anyway, as you can see, a lot accomplished today and also was able to didn't get as much of this i'm running low on diesel and the storms are they're rolling in i was looking at the radar earlier so i want to get home before it gets soaking wet and on top of that tonight is date night with mama son and i don't want to be late <laughs> so anyway i'll show you this one last thing before i go so this was a huge deep hole i got this filled in i'm going to leave this like this we're getting rains here shortly and this will settle and I'll keep working it, but made big progress on the front as well. And I guess you saw that pulverizer, and that thing just gets it done. So guys, always remember Project Next, there's always one more. Uh, I try to post two videos a week, so be sure and smack that uh, notification so you don't miss out on anything with all the uh, projects that we do here at Project Next. Guys, thanks so much for watching. You guys have a great afternoon, take care. We'll catch you later. Thanks for watching.